how she's looking at him. That's a very suspicious answer. Do you see that? That's not a no. You can, listen, I'm, I'm asking you because last night, okay, true story, I did a show. There was a couple at the show. They seemed cool and normal, you know, like, well, like you guys, okay? And they... <laughs> And then they started, we go out for drinks, and they started telling me how they switch off, they swap partners, right? They swing, and I was shocked, shocked! Maybe I'm really sheltered or naive or something, but I thought that's the kind of thing that only happens on HBO, or like, obviously at your house. I didn't think, I didn't think this is a real thing that people do, you know? And not only that, they invited me to join them in the bedroom, and I'm supposed to get all involved with her. Ugh. When I said no, they acted like I'm the weird one because I don't swing and I'm not bisexual. Like, I'm weird because I'm not bisexual. Sorry, ladies. All right, I saw you looking at me earlier. It's not going to happen, sister. Okay? You have a very cute hairdo. I like your earrings, but you're not for me. Okay? I can't put time and energy into studying some other woman's lady part. Okay? I can just about stand looking at my own. A lot of women do this, especially high school, college. They stand there and they take a mirror and they look up, you know? They have to see, they want to know, they have to see every single little nook and cranny and crevice and crinkle, crevices with the pieces, with the ruffles, with the folds, with the layers of airways and twists and turns. And he's getting very turned on by this conversation. He's getting grossed out because he's gay. The thing is, I don't have to do that. I don't have to stand there and take a mirror and look up. You know why? I'm confident. I know it's there. <laughs> it knows it's there. <laughs> Two thirds of New York City knows. <laughs> that is there. No, I'm kidding, right? You know it's only one third. And, and I have it well trained. And you know how I know? Because it sits there. And whenever I need it, all I have to do is I just tap it. And it comes. All right, so, thank you, all right. So, let's talk about Donald Trump for a second. Nothing terrible, right? Melania, right, gorgeous girl. She was on Howard Stern um, about a year ago before he ever ran for president. She talked about some of the things they would do sexually. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Ready, sir? Wake up. <laughs> Crazy things, things. Even I'm almost uncomfortable to tell you about. One of the things they would do, he would take a bottle of the most expensive champagne, $2,000 champagne. He would pour it into her ass. And then proceed. That's right, sir. Who said that? Is that you? Please follow me after the show, sir. This, is, this guy is a lover. I love him. Yes, he would flick it out. He would flick it like Trump more, ladies, right? Yeah. He would like add the ship. I'm sorry, I don't even know if it's more, dis that's disgusting though. I mean, I don't even know what's more disgusting that a man would do such a thing or that a woman would allow a man to waste $2,000 on champagne like that. <laughs> but let's just all admit it, okay? You know you've made it in life when you could just spend $2,000 on champagne on an ass, okay? <laughs> that is the pinnacle of success right there. You know what I would use? I'd probably use Coors Light, how about that? <laughs> Three bucks. And have you tasted it? Tastes just like ass, so there you go. <laughs> All right, before I go, I want you guys to know that I did go on a date recently. I want you to know I went on a third date with an attorney. Thank you very much, an attorney. I know, I know. Some of you guys are shocked, aren't you? You didn't think I could do it, did you? Little five foot, little classless me with an attorney. That's what happens when you get a DUI, you meet attorneys. <laughs> well, my name, my name is Sheba Mason. My father's also a comedian, Jackie Mason, and I'm proud of things. 
care. He was in the big room. <laughs> See, when they can't afford Jackie Mason, they hire me. And so, <laughs> no, I have product. I have the product of a love affair, though. Like I said earlier. So you see, everybody, remember, this is what you get when you don't use protection. You get a little comedian who kind of looks like a hooker. <laughs> I am proud of it. Just sometimes I wish a better looking comedian was my father, you know? Like Woody Allen. Or Rosie O'Donnell. Thank you very much. Give it up for Sheba Mason. Come on now. Oh yeah! We are having a good time tonight. You guys better be 